Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Random Bonus Episode number one of many of Let's Play Summon Night Starcraft Star 2. Today, um Did I find that cat lady? I don't think I have. Uh you just say that and I, if I remember correctly, the cat lady doesn't really do anything either. And I think those kids would probably thank me for helping them if I... What? Huh. Okay. Oh, that's all... Holy crap. Has anyone ever noticed that the amount of cats she has in her house increases? Um, I would suppose you're gonna give me a thing for Cora's Gate. Yeah, I think so. That's probably because a new area in Gore's Gate just opened up. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, well. <laughs> I was just happy that what? Huh, okay. Well, um, I don't know what that was about. But today, I'm going to show off something that we shouldn't actually be doing for a very long time. Um, I have the Noble Buster equipped. I kind of want two other swords equipped because I'll probably need them. The Ninja Sword and the Keyshape Sword. I also kind of wish I made the Noble Buster with uh, some actually like great material or uh, great shape stone. But well, that's just what I've decided to do. So 169. All right. Hello, Rampage Rapid Man. Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Not at all. But the Rampage Rabbit. He now has 11,000 HP. Which makes him kind of difficult. But he has mostly the same attacks. He just hits a million times harder. Oh, he can guard now, by the way. Which is pretty awesome. Well, uh, shoot. Okay. Ow. Ow. So yeah, though, so, um, this is Summonite Starcraft Story 2, and I'm getting killed by a rabbit! And I haven't even bring, brought him down by a, to a thousand yet. So. Yeah, you can imagine that this battle will be a lot easier once we're like level 60-ish, which is probably when I'll attempt it again, because there's no way I'm gonna win here. I mean, if I win now, it'll be just a stroke of luck. Oh, I should probably take off Astral Guard. Man, he is just wiping me out. Wiping all out? No. <laughs> Might not be a bad idea for a song, though. But the boss music is pretty good in this game, so I'll just stick with it. Ow. Alright, well, I've used two healing spells already, and he's only down to 88, 84. 87. Oh shoot, I'm about to die. Oh, hey, I'm wasting medkits now. That's that's bad. Alright, so, yeah. You can see that uh, fighting the Rampage Rabbit right now. Not such a great idea. Also, I want to unequip our medkits here. Let's go back to... Eh, let's go to Romantic Bomb. Oh, why not? And instead of Rastal Guard, I want... Enchant Aqua. Why not? Alright. Hello, kitty. Keep hanging in there. Alright. Now, as they said before, a new area is opened in Gora's Gate. Oh, you have to press A to open it. However, to get down there, we have to go all the way back through the dungeon, so... Give me a second. Okay, well, while I was running through the second floor, um, I just ran into a new enemy. The Clock Knight. I assume we could have ran into him before, and in fact, I think he's an old boss, too. But, uh, yeah, he's not too tough. He throws his spear, and he thrusts his spear, and that's about all he does. Um, I think I'm pretty close to the thing, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just right down here. So, um, I guess I'll leave the camera running. Assuming I don't get lost. I still don't know how to get there. From the labyrinth. I've never found that area before. And I don't think I'll ever change that. Whoa! Red Dragon's still not exactly pushovers. Though not exactly difficult either. Uh, how much Chan Aqua do I have? 15 charges? 
Let's just go ahead and use it. See the difference in damage. So we were doing about 260 to him before. Now we're doing... Holy crap. <laughs> wow, that brought it up over 100. Well, that's uh, good to know. In fact, that probably would have helped a lot against the last boss, I bet. Instead of having medkits equipped. Because that wasn't actually helping all that much. Ugh, another one? Okay, well, now that I know what Chan Aqua does, we're going to be abusing it. Alright. I should be saving it for the final, final area. Well, it's not the final area of the game. There's like five bonus dungeons. So, one for each uh, final dungeon. There's the eyes that are still lit up. Some strikers up here. Nothing too difficult. There we go. Oh, hey, we leveled up to 50. So let's uh, distribute our points like so. We want to stop distributing agility at, mm, let's say, 120. And then we'll distribute it all into attack until that's over 200, and then we'll put some in defense uh, when we put into attack, I guess. I don't know. Not entirely sure what my plan was after that happened, because, uh, well, like I've said, I've never gotten... I've never played the post-game of this game, so it's totally new to me. Um, please tell me I don't have to do the rock-pushing puzzle. I don't see the rock, so I assume that means I can just go on forward. Ouch. That was actually a little bit painful. But I'm not blocking, anyway. Man, blocking is kind of overpowered in this game, if you think about it. Did I just block his charge when I couldn't block it before? I wonder if that's a power of the Noble Buster. Hmm. Well, anyway, the rock should be already down here. Good. That saves me a lot of aggravation. Ooh. Well, I never pass up on free healing stuff. Like, uh, hard-boiled eggs. Oh. Getting all these flower syrups and stuff reminds me that we should probably check in with the shop to see if they've got anything new to fuse. But it'll probably require materials I'm about to get anyway, so... I'm not too worried about it. And I should really stop actually wasting my chain aqua on this guy, when there's going to be tougher enemies here in a second, and I can just easily enough interrupt his attacks anyway. Ooh, hey, dino level. Nice. Alright. <coughs> Little uh, tickle in my throat there. Alright, so this is where Gora was, the Chamber of Seals. Inside, we have this very large, ominous, purple glowing thing. And Gora is no longer here. So if we step inside and press A, yes! It's just like a teleporter. And we even have that final music. Awesome. Um, huh. Well, if that's the case, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> We can go check on the shop and uh, repair our weapons and heal up and stuff, because this will... Well, as post-game, I would assume it's a pretty good challenge. I wonder if the fishing guy has new stuff. If he does, I might go for it. Like, off-screen stuff. Let's see, we have... No, he just has up to Kishin Horn. That's a... Machinery scroll. I've thought about that, but... I wonder if I ever posted the link to that thing that I used to see, like, all the different fusion combinations and uh, recipes and stuff. I'm pretty sure I did, but don't quote me on that. Somebody tell me if I did or not. Um, no, he just has the ninja stuff, so I assume we'll find better equipment? Or I'm stuck with the ninja ring, which I'm not really too upset by, I'll be honest. The ninja ring is pretty sweet. Alright. We just need to heal up a little bit, and repair our weapons. I should disassemble them, but at the same time they lose their elemental effects, and I kind of don't want that to happen. What's our status? 210? Hmm. Until I find new material, I can't really do anything else. So, uh, without that, we'll just uh, continue on. Uh, I wonder if he has anything new to buy. I might actually just buy out all this partly potions, because I don't know what else I'd use this money for. Well, 
there are these. No, you can buy anywhere diaries now. Wow. They're pretty cheap, too. Um... Yeah. Let's buy... 99 of them. Why not? That's what I usually do with Final Fantasy. <laughs> and also, um, that one game. Uh, Pokemon. In fact, I've bought over 99, like, Hyper Potions. I have 200 now. <laughs> I think. Well, I've ran through the Elite Four a couple of times, so I don't think I do anymore. Speaking of Pokemon, I've thought about like going into competition circuits and stuff, but we'll see how that goes. I still need the EV train a lot. All right, so Gora's Labyrinth B6. Totally new area, totally new enemies. So let's see what happens. Uh, if we bounce off like that, we can go up here. And find the first new enemy is the Bolt Strikers. Wonderbolts? No. Not really even remotely close. Wow, these guys hurt quite a lot. Unless you're blocking. Please don't hurt me. Wow, just annihilated him, Arrow. Go. Alright. Well, we have a door here and a couple boxes. Hard boiled egg. I was kind of hoping for a new material. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest here. Okay, well, bye. No, bye. Mm, bounce off like that. You must have to move diagonally. That's the only way I can see of doing that. The box contained a seafood soup, and the chest contained a seafood soup. That's really odd. Uh, I wonder if it's a mirror image. Yes, it is. Okay. So we do the same thing we did on the other side. And then I'm confused as to what I should do. Ooh, a grinding stone. Nice. And the box just contained a rope stone. Or the chest contained a rope stone. And I got the grinding stone from the box. Which would be very sad. Because that means the just random items I'll find around are better than the items in the chest. Or better... Or better or as good as, I think I'm trying to say. But it's coming out really skewed. Just uh, lazily go like that. Uh, well, when in doubt, go left. So, let's go left. Oh, hey, you can do that, apparently, too. Uh, that's not what I wanted, though. There we go. Okay. Inside this door, we find, well, B7. And a couple more boxes, and another rock-pushing puzzle. Because they're so great. Okay, well, it's obvious we gotta push it. So, let's push it. There are other rocks. This is frightening. Okay, so what do we got to do with these in the end? We got to get them up here? All right. So if we get into a battle with a new enemy, the, the, the what? The Sparkwid. I've read the P and the Q backwards, so it looked like Sparkwid to me, which made a lot less sense, let's be honest. Man, these guys are uh, definitely not messing around. Let's heal up a little bit. I mean, we only have 24 hardwood legs. And we're probably gonna get more from these boxes if not seafood soup. Eh, a replacement one, so, see. Okay, if I push it up this way, it'll get stuck. Okay, let's go one rock at a time. Let's get the left one up first. And a couple more of these guys, so apparently that's those are all the new enemies in this entire dungeon, and I won't find any more. Let's hope that's not the case. But yeah, with that clockwork knife, though, I did notice that there was a blank spot in my, um, bestiary. I almost said inventory, but that's not quite right. I noticed there was a blank spot in my bestiary, and, uh, that's... that was him. Okay, well, pushing it up against this wall is obviously not the correct solution. So let's push it all the way over here, and then all the way up... Oh, uh, crud. If I push it right, I think I messed up. I think I messed up. We gotta push the right one first. Otherwise, the left one gets stuck. Well, wait, how do you get the right one out? I'll have to take another look at that as soon as I kill these guys. Assuming they don't kill me. But that won't happen, because I'm too good for them. Alright. Wow, tons of rub stones. I'll never run out. Um, okay. So, if you push the right one like that, it'll get stuck. Push it like that, 
it'll still get stuck. So, what are you supposed to do with it? Hmm. Something tells me there's more to this than this guy. Push it left. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure how to get this rock out. Maybe I had to approach from the right. So let's try that. Because I don't see any way of doing it the way I had it. Perhaps changing my perspective will lighten... Er, what? Light up? No, it's not quite right either. Well, either way, it'll bring us closer to the solution of this puzzle. Speaking of puzzles, I just finished uh, Last Spectre last night, and man, I really wish I could LP these games, but at the same time, Professor Layton is kind of a hard game to LP because um, once you've beaten it, you kind of know all the solutions to the, the puzzles and stuff, and so you lose out on that. Okay, um, this rock. This rock. What do I do with this rock? I think I've got to push each rock up. Okay, let's try that. Because this is the only way I see of doing this. Wait, can I still get in? Oh, a new enemy, the Chrono Knight. He's like the Clockwork Knight, only purple. Super purple, too, man. A really ugly shade of purple with that. And he has a new attack, or unless the other guy could do it, and I just never saw it, and I'm not entirely sure. But he can charge forward at you and damage you. But you can block it, so it's not too big a deal. Eh, 14 is good enough. Can I get in there? No, I cannot. Push it one more time. Okay. Push it up against this wall. Even though I said not to, there is a way to get it off the wall, so... Off the wall. But, um... Wow, you guys are up there. Luckily, my agility is pretty high, so I can reach them. You better not run away. Didn't make sense. No, the only real enemies that run away at this point are brownie types. I wonder if we'll find any. Hard to tell. Alright, if we push this up here... Man, I swear this was like composed by the dude who did Sonic or something, you know? Push it all the way up here, and then go over here, and push it to the right, and then up. Push it up against those, through this hatch. Or what? This gap. And uh, we should be home free. Just push it all the way up to the button. And then we've got to do the same on the other side, I guess. I hope that's how it works, otherwise I'm already stuck. <laughs> Which will be amazing. Uh, hey, get, get back here. Would you die? Okay. That guy was being quite annoying. I've got a side. Alright, now, um... Oh, just straight up. Okay, cool. And... Presto. One button down. Now we've got to exit and enter from the other side. I really hope that's what you're supposed to do, because I don't see any way of pushing it up from where it is. Well, let me go tr check on it. Or at the very least, I can maybe enter from the left side. Unless I'm supposed to exit from the right side. This... Uh, this is confusing me greatly. Um, let's push this over here. Okay. Even though now I can't get this out. Oh no, I can get it out. Okay, so let's see. If I push it all the way to the right... So, all this rock is here for is a red herring and to throw you off. That's not very kind, game. Gotta say. Man, so many Bolt Strikers. But they're pretty good experience, I think. I wasn't actually paying attention to how much experience they give. But I'll look... Ah! Don't want to get hit by that. I'll look after this battle. 720 is decent, but not very good. Not like some of the other enemies I've got. Okay, so we'll do the same we were doing up until we got uh, stuck. Just push this all the way up here. Um, push it up 
push this up against this. Run around the spiral. And I think that gets us out. Well, first we have a little bit of opposition from more of these guys. Because I'm not getting tired of them at all. No, nothing like that. <sighs> well, at least the Sparkwood's pretty good experience, I think. Uh, debatable. Very debatable. It's like Borderline in Pokemon series. Yeah, like I said, I've been getting into Pokemon a lot and researched like all the EVs and IVs and stuff. I never bothered with IV training because it sounds way too complicated. I mean, I'm already trying to get traits and I was trying to get hidden powers, but it wasn't working out. So I decided to ignore it. But besides, they have plenty of moves in their move pools that I can afford to substitute out. All right, now we have a couple of barrels here and the chest with an anywhere diary. So I can save anywhere I'd like, even though I can kind of already do that. No, 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 no. Okay, wow. Um, this is actually kind of a little bit difficult. Maybe if I... Hmm. How to do this? Okay, wait. Maybe if... Uh, shoot. I'm gonna miss it, aren't I? Yep. Okay. Fine, we'll just start from the beginning. Go up here, and then go up here. If we run straight at the... Huh. Okay, new enemies. Grizzlies. There are those bear guys, but they're a lot faster, and they're a lot more red. Looks like someone spilled ketchup all over them. Hey, get, get back here! Hey, critical hit. Nice. Okay. I bet my weapon's already maxed out. Yep. Well, we'll check the Kishin Blade's um, elemental pro- Well, I might be able to get it. Yes! Alright, we can get this rare metal, and this ch this chest contains a Tyrant Soulstone. Finally a new freaking material. And a pretty good one too. I believe you can get that from breaking somebody's weapon, maybe Ryoga's, but I find it easier just to get them in this final dungeon and stuff. These final dungeons I should say. Because I know an enemy will drop it right now. I just don't know who it is. Well, if I ever see that enemy and they drop it, we'll know. I wish there was like an item in the game that would let me like scan enemies or something. But that would probably break up the flow of combat pretty good. <coughs> okay, what's our status at? 17,000? Uh, oh, we should heal. There we go. I mean, it's not like we don't have enough of those. Alright, B9. But what awaits us further down in Gora's Labyrinth, and will we be able to tackle the next? And will we able? Will we be able to tackle the bonus boss? Find out next time on Let's Play Some Knights Starcraft Story 2. Until then, later, guys.